Review. Attractive in appearance, yet as uninteresting as washing dishes. Welcome to Cinemascope Reviews. Join us for insightful critiques and in-depth analysis of films, ranging from indie darlings to epic blockbusters. Are movies your passion? Subscribe and dive into the conversation below. This time, let's look at reviews of The Killer. The Killer, directed by David Fincher in 2023, is a neo-noir thriller starring Michael Fassbender as a professional hitman. The film is noted for its dark style, intense narrative, and Fassbender's compelling performance. Review number one, stylish yet unremarkable. The Killer, 2023, showcases Michael Fassbender and David Fincher's talents. The neo-noir film is mostly Fassbender narrating with brief cameos from actors like Tilda Swinton. The fight scenes are brutal and Fassbender's character, a nameless, cold assassin, doesn't evoke much sympathy. The soundtrack by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross adds to the intensity. Although visually impressive, it's not Fincher's best. Review number 2, Misinterpreted Psychopath Portrait David Fincher's The Killer stars Michael Fassbender as a psychopathic assassin. The film's narration attempts to portray deep thoughts but actually reveals flawed logic. Examples include his misunderstanding of DNA traces and survival of the fittest. The scene with Tilda Swinton at the restaurant highlights his psychopathy, characterized by a wide-eyed stare and predatory focus. The film tries to explore the killer's ego rather than genuine revenge. Review number 3, Oscar-worthy performance. Michael Fassbender's performance in The Killer is outstanding, potentially deserving an Oscar nomination. His portrayal of an assassin is deep and engaging, but the story itself isn't the strongest. Despite this, the film's direction by David Fincher and Fassbender's acting make it a compelling watch. The film's narration gives insight into the protagonist's thoughts, adding to the storytelling. Review number 4, Disappointed Expectations Anticipating the killer for its stellar cast and direction, I was left disappointed. Michael Fassbender's role as a stealthy killer is dramatic, but the film's straightforward storyline and implausible actions were unconvincing. The movie's style is quintessential Fincher, yet it fails to deliver beyond average due to its lack of depth and over-reliance on commentary. Review number 5, Nuanced but Familiar The Killer, directed by David Fincher, features a nuanced performance by Michael Fassbender. The storyline is familiar, but the film shines through its character's internal monologue and philosophical musings. Despite its predictability, it's a solid addition to Fincher's filmography, showcasing Fassbender's talent in a role that requires minimal dialogue but considerable emotional depth. Review number 6, Flawed Yet Refreshing David Fincher's The Killer stars Michael Fassbender as a hitman. The film is meticulously crafted but suffers from excessive narration, which becomes tiresome. It has humorous moments and a stripped-down style that suits the material. However, the repetitive monologuing and rushed CGI fight scenes detract from its overall impact. It's not among Fincher's best works but offers a unique approach. Review number 7, Edge of Seat Thriller The Killer is a thrilling film that keeps viewers engaged from beginning to end. Directed with precision, it explores the complexities of the human psyche with unexpected plot twists. The mix of suspenseful and action-packed moments creates a riveting experience. Michael Fassbender's performance is notable, contributing significantly to the film's impact and leaving a lasting impression. Review number 8, Underappreciated but Flawed The Killer by David Fincher, though underrated, is likely to be overlooked on Netflix. It offers a simple yet tense narrative, with themes familiar to Fincher's work. The film's sound and music, enhanced by the cinema experience, include a standout action sequence. However, its generic title and straightforward plot might not fully captivate audiences. Review number 9, Gritty and Stylish David Fincher's The Killer is a gritty thriller action film focusing on a hitman's life. It draws parallels with Daniel Craig's portrayal of James Bond, emphasizing silent, methodical action. Fincher's established style is evident, adding depth to the action sequences and philosophical undertones. Michael Fassbender's performance as the hitman stands out, making the film compelling. Review number 10, Tedious and Unimaginative The killer begins with potential but quickly becomes monotonous. The protagonist's repetitive mantras and unconvincing confrontations make for a tedious watch. 
The antagonist's weak motivations and the dialogue's lack of creativity contribute to the film's overall dullness. It fails to live up to its initial promise, resulting in an unimpressive and forgettable movie. Review number 11, Solid But Not Fincher's Best In David Fincher's latest film, Michael Fassbender stars as a stoic killer seeking vengeance. While his performance is strong, the film doesn't quite reach the heights of Fincher's best works. Its slower pacing and narrative simplicity might not resonate with all audiences, but the film remains enjoyable for fans of Fincher's style. Review number 12, Style Over Substance The Killer, directed by David Fincher, is visually appealing but lacks depth. The simple and familiar story fails to offer anything new to the genre. Fassbender's portrayal of a controlled killer is undermined by a repetitive inner monologue. The film's ending feels anticlimactic, leading to an overall forgettable experience that prioritizes style over substance. Review number 13, Lacking Empathy and Charm The killer features a hitman on a revenge mission after a non-fatal attack on his girlfriend. The narrative lacks depth, with the protagonist killing indiscriminately. The film raises moral questions and presents an uncharismatic lead, leaving viewers questioning the movie's message. The killer's actions and the film's conclusion create a sense of unease about its portrayal of justice. Review number 14, Improved Upon Rewatch A second viewing of the killer reveals the depth of its script and Fassbender's acting. The film effectively conveys the hopelessness faced by the protagonist's victims. While not groundbreaking, it offers a memorable portrayal of desperation and stands out from typical action movies. The narrative's focus on the killer's perspective provides a unique angle to the story. Review number 15, A Lackluster Passion Project David Fincher's passion project The Killer falls short of expectations. Michael Fassbender's performance is unvaried, and the film's reliance on voiceover narration undermines its potential. The predictable plot and cliché characters do little to elevate the film, resulting in a monotonous and uninspiring watch despite Fincher's enthusiasm for the project. Review number 16, Monotone and Tedious The killer centers on a hitman who mistakenly kills the wrong target. The film mainly consists of Michael Fassbender's internal monologue, which quickly becomes repetitive and dull. Attempts at humor through character aliases fail to lighten the overall tedium of the movie, making it a lackluster and unengaging experience. Review number 17, Disappointing and Inauthentic The killer disappoints with its lack of authenticity and plausible storytelling. The film feels more like a prolonged advertisement, with excessive product placement overshadowing the narrative. The protagonist's consistent failures and the overall poor execution make the film frustrating and unenjoyable, deviating significantly from Fincher's usual standard of filmmaking. Review number 18, Thoughtful but Conflicting The killer offers a slow-paced, reflective take on the action genre. The protagonist's shift from detachment to vengeance creates a conflicting message about the role of emotions. The film's intention remains unclear, as it presents an unlikable main character whose actions contradict the underlying themes, resulting in a confusing narrative. Review number 19, Flat and Conventional The film begins with an unrealistic scene, setting a tone of shallowness and conventionality. The story lacks depth and the dialogue feels forced, reducing the impact of the plot. The lowering of stakes for the characters' deaths and the overall mediocre execution makes it just another forgettable Netflix movie despite the presence of a talented actor. The following is the final review. Review number 20, Stylized but Monotonous. The Killer, by David Fincher, delves into the mind of a hitman in a linear and repetitive fashion. While the film's style and execution are noteworthy, it lacks charm and falls into monotony. Despite being conventional, it offers interesting insights into the human psyche and society, making it a significant but not particularly exciting addition to Fincher's filmography. That concludes our reviews. Thanks for tuning in to our movie review. Remember, every film has layers and secrets waiting to be discovered, and here at Cinemascope Reviews, we're all about uncovering those treasures. If you enjoyed our take on The Killer and want more deep dives into your favorite films, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join our community of movie enthusiasts, share your own insights, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep loving movies, and we'll be back with another review soon. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Happy watching!